since Adobe has acquired Figma. It really scared the beginner UI designer, though it is still free, but who knows how it will evolve. So we have discovered a new alternative to Figma. Let's check it out. Pixo is a fully featured web-based UI and UX design tool. The app has a free tier for personal use, but what sets it apart is that the free tier is incredibly generous. Pixo offers features like unlimited storage and unlimited real-time collaboration on projects that most paid for UI design software only offers at premier tiers. Pixel features the standard design tool you would expect but also boasts intelligent UI design, which means that elements will react to changes, saving a complete redesign for a single tweak. It offers an extensive range of design elements and templates, getting new projects off to a flying star, and it can create high fidelity prototypes, allowing for extensive UI testing of your design. And as a new design tool, it has multi-language support, such as Korean and Japanese, making it user-friendly for multinational companies. Once you create an account, you will see the dashboard like this. Here are your recent files, your drafts, you can access from here to the community where you can find resources and abundant to speed up your design process. You can create a team from here. The interesting thing here is you can import other UI UX apps like Figma, Adobe XD, Sketch. You can work and can edit them. From here, you can open a new file by just clicking on this plus icon. So you will see the interface like this. It is just like other UI UX apps, nothing complicated here. From here, you can choose preset for mobile phone, desktops, tablets, and can create a custom artboard. You can also choose from the frames. Here is the list for all devices. If you want to choose any one of them, just click on that and it will create an artboard for you. In the middle of the top bar, you can find all the tools here like different shapes, text tools, and can find other tools by clicking this plus icon. On the left, you have this layer panel, component, and resources. On the right, we have this style panel. Mostly it is like Figma style panel. If you are familiar with Figma, you can easily work here without any difficulty. You can inspect your design. You can do the prototype also. You can preview and share your project. Let's design something here real quick to check how this web app works. So we will design a simple landing page here. First of all, we will set the grid layout, but columns. I will keep 80 pixel of margin and we'll change the color to light blue. So first we will make a dummy logo here. So I will select the ellipse tool and we'll draw a circle and we'll set the width and height to 50 pixel. I want to change the color to indigo for this shape. I have chosen three bright colors. So the first one is indigo. Create another copy of this by dragging and holding Alt key. I will make this rose pink and the third one should be in sign bring this forward by pressing shift control right square bracket from the from these three circles we will create a glitch like effect now we will add a letter of p to it Select the text tool, type P, make it white. We will select the font for this design is Poppins. It should be bold and the size should be 55 pixel. Uh, 54 is fine, I think. Group these all by pressing Ctrl G. So the logo is ready. From here, we can continue the style for our landing page. Here should be the hamburger menu. So we will select the line tool and draw a line of 50 pixel. And we will create another copy of this by dragging and holding the Alt key. The stroke should be 2 pixel. And we'll adjust the spacing and group it. Now I want to add a line here. So I will select the line tool and we'll draw a line of one pixel so the space between the navigation bar is 108 pixel 
I think 114 is fine. So align the logo middle with this shape and the menu also. Now I want to add some text here. I will select the text tool and will draw a text box. So let's find some text for it. I think this is fine for now. Just copy and paste it here. The text is actually white, so we'll make it black. We will edit the text with pixel. So the size should be 80 pixel or 85 pixel. I want her to add big and bold text with some graphic element and geometric shapes. So I will leave some space for those elements. But first let me adjust this text. We'll add a little more space like this. So here in these empty spaces, we'll make those shapes. For the first one, I want to make two circles and an arrow. So I will select the old two and will draw a circle. It should be a little bigger like this. I will change the color to cyan. And I will create a copy for the second one by dragging and holding the Alt key. This should be the indigo. Bring this one forward by pressing Shift Control right square bracket. Now I want to add an arrow. This time we will make a custom arrow. So I will select the line tool and will draw a line of 12 pixel. For the arrowhead, I will draw a small square shape and will delete one of its anchor point. I will add a stroke and the stroke size should be 12 pixel. I will rotate it and will reduce the size like this. So the arrow is ready. Let's group it together by pressing Ctrl G. So now I will make the second shape right here. I think I have to speed up the video. These are just simple shapes that you can do easily. So here we will add a CTA button. I will select the rectangle tool and will draw a rectangle. The width should be 225 pixel and the height should be 60 or 64 pixel. Align it to the center and the color should be date indigo. I will create two more copies of this. This should be date rose pink and this should be and sign. Bring these two backward by pressing shift control left square bracket and we'll adjust the position like we did in the logo. Now we will add some text to the button. Explore. The text size should be 25 pixel and medium. I will make the text in uppercase. and the text should be white. Near this text, I want to add an arrow also. So I will select the arrow tool and will draw a small arrow. And stroke size should be about three pixel. The color should be white. We will align this text and arrow in the middle of the button like this. Now in the bottom, I want to design something like very style shapes. So for that, we will use the pen tool. I will select the pen tool and will draw a random wavy shape just like this. I want to stick this last anchor point to the center. For that, I will create a line and will make it a center line. So now I will drag this anchor point here. I will drag these anchor points a little more to create a proper wave object. 
Now we will join these anchor point by using the pen tool. Just delete that line. So the color should be that indigo, but not to this stroke. Remove it and I will add fill here. So I will give it that indigo color. Create another copy of it and the color should be that rose pink. Bring it to the back and we will make it a little different from the first one. So we will make changes in the anchor point like this. Now we will create a third copy of this and the color should be that cyan. We will make it a little different again. We will make it left align and we will make it duplicate. After that, we will reflect it. Right click and flip horizontal. And align these two objects and group it together. So you can see we have designed this nice and simple landing page. You can also see your design in the preview mode and here it is. So I found this web app for you very interesting. Now it's time for you to explore it and enjoy it.